watching CBS 2 News this morning in high definition. And the hot reads of the summer. We look at some books your kids may want to crack while on vacation. This is CBS 2 News Sunday morning. Next reading list from these stars is all part of the summer reading program at the Brooklyn Public Library. We have a preview next. This is CBS 2 News Sunday morning. Well, summer is right around the corner, and many students are starting to put together their summer reading lists. The Brooklyn Public Library is getting into the spirit with a special event this week, and joining us from the library is Andrea Vaughn. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us about this campaign to get kids to read this summer. Well, at Brooklyn Public Library, this is an awareness campaign where we encourage all New Yorkers, and especially people in Brooklyn, to read over the summer. Because you were, we were talking about what can happen if you if you say it's all playtime, it's just summer, just take yes. a break. Study after study shows that students who don't read over the summer or fall behind in school. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you have some great books that you uh, want us to check out. First is Chicks and Salsa by Erin Reynolds. Yes, this book is very funny. It's about what happens when barnyard animals get tired of the slop and chicken feet that they get, and they decide they're going to make some Tex-Mex food. <laughs> what age is this for? This is for about uh, ages four and up. Okay. How about These Hands by Hopeland Price? These Hands is for the youngest of children. It's illustrated by the collages of Brian Collier, and it shows young children what they can do with their hands. They can build things, they can play, they can clap, they can pray, and parents can have an interactive experience reading this book with their child. Okay. Next we have Knucklehead. <laughs> Knucklehead is by our ambassador to uh, literature for young people, uh, John Sheska. And he, in this book he tells stories about his upbringing with his five brothers and all the trouble they get into. And I'm looking, I'm looking at the cover of this and I'm just wondering what age range we're talking about. I would say that's about nine and up. Hmm. All right. How about Lee Pike Ridge? Lee Pike Ridge is a great adventure story. A young boy gets swept away on a river underneath a mountain in a series of caves. He gets trapped in these caves. And while he's trapped down there, he finds a, a dog, a dead body, some oh treasure. And he has to find his way out. And what age range is that good for? Ten and up. Okay. And Dragon Slippers. Dragon Slippers. This is a fun adventure as well. It's about a young girl whose family tries to uh, sacrifice her to a dragon so she'll get rescued by the prince. But she's not having any of that. She decides to make her own way. She negotiates with the dragon to escape. She makes her way to the big city and she helps win a war with the help of the dragon. Oh, I like that. A lot of fun. <laughs> and what age range is that for? I would say about nine and up and it's the beginning of a trilogy so there's more to read. Okay, any advice for parents on how to motivate their kids to read this summer? Mm -hmm. They can lead by example by reading themselves. Let children choose their own books. I think it's really important when you're fostering a love of reading that children can pick up books that interest them. So maybe you make the list together and have some goals as far as you want this many books by this time. You can set a goal if you like. Mm -hmm. Children read at their own speed, so goals sometimes can be intimidating. But go to your local librarian for advice. I think that's one of the things also that the local libraries have so many great programs that are going on all summer, and sometimes we don't take advantage of them. Yes, we have free, fun activities for the whole family every summer. And this Thursday, June 4th, we're going to be having a kickoff party at Brooklyn Public Library's uh, Central Library in Grand Army Plaza. We're going to be having um, food, live music. We're going to have a show by local punks, Care Bears on Fire. Oh. Uh, Lil Mama is going to be hosting our party. Uh, the librarians have their own blues band called Lost in the Stacks. Perfect. They're going to be playing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Andrew, thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you. For your ideas. For more summer reading ideas and for information about the summer reading program at the book <laughs> Get a word out. Help me. Brooklyn Public, Brooklyn Public, Library. Public Library. Thank you. Head over <laughs> to our website, wcbstv.com. Mary, bail me out here, please. Thanks so much, <laughs>